no room at the inn. The image I've always had of this part of the nativity story is one of the streets of Bethlehem being really busy and packed with people. No doubt I've been influenced by the numerous nativity plays over the years. Remember, Mary and Joseph had travelled here because this was where Joseph came from. He would have had relatives here. Both he and Mary would have been welcome and the culture was such that Joseph's family would have both expected and wanted Mary and Joseph to stay with them. Maybe they left Nazareth later than they should have done and maybe Mary's pregnancy would have meant they took longer than most to reach Bethlehem and by the time they arrived all the guest rooms and any inn or inns would have been full. If Bethlehem's population was one of a few hundred people, there wouldn't have been so very many places to stay. But equally, if it was that small, there would have been a real sense of community, which in turn makes me think that people would have been concerned for Mary and Joseph and keen to help and find somewhere for them to stay. The scriptures make no mention of a stable, but they do mention a manger. Hold on. Remember, most of the houses had single living room areas where they brought the animals into at night, with either a manger or depression in the ground filled with straw. Some of the houses had a room at the back for visitors, or space on the roof. But if Joseph and Mary were the last to arrive, these spaces would have been taken, and all that was left was the room with the animals. Then there was the census. I wonder where Joseph had to go to be registered. How long was it before Mary went into labour? We don't know, but I imagine there was time. Time to rest. Time to spend with Joseph's family. Time for just the two of them. And of course, time to find midwives. Midwives. That reminds me of Shipra and Pua all those years ago in Egypt when Pharaoh was out to destroy all the Hebrew baby boys. And now I'm going to read the scripture from Luke 2, 6 to 7. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Mm. 